course, Valerie was there. Uh, I wasn't. But uh, they went up to the they went up to the Canadian Convention last year. Last year, and uh, they saw that the professional people were running the convention themselves. And so they said, he, so when they got it started, when the sailing group got it started, they said, we'd like to have the same thing, but we'd like to have the handicapped people do it all. Uh, yeah. We may have some outside help with advisors and whatnot, but we want the main jest of the convention be run by us, not the professional people. I don't guess you have to start from scratch. We had to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. And we had to, it took us about nine months just talking about what is a convention, what do we do, and so on. But we, we decided to split up the group of one day. The meeting is now in session of the workshop number three. We are here today to make final plans of the convention this fall. Have any of you thought about another name for the theme for this year's convention? See, the food here, the people serve and moving on. Okay. Get to know the people better. Does someone want to make a motion that we vote on these titles? I motion that we vote on these titles. I second. Okay, how many of you want? Let's get together. Raise your hand. Ten. 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 People who care. Raising the pie. Oh, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. People first, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what are they doing? Hey. It seems like we already know which one we all want. That one is people first, moving on. <laughs> Linda is the one that uh, had the pave the parking lot paved up by Aren't you the one that... No, Rosella. Oh, that was Rosella that, that had Dr. Talkington push her up by the, the cottage and he had the parking lot paved after he had to pull a, push the wheelchair in it. <laughs> These two girls are real sharpies and they've gotten more things done on the cottage than oh, yeah. anybody else. Yeah. Okay. 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 Mine's 240, Mrs. Brown. Yeah. All right, what building? Rosa? Okay. That's Rosa? Rosa? Will the convention of the people first round two please come to order? If you want this, to make some kind of a sound, either clap or say yes, as loud as you can, okay? Yes. Okay, now wait. One thing, we want representatives on state DD Council, Developmentally Disa Disability. Do we want this? Yes. Okay. We want representatives on President Committee on Mental Retardation, do we? Yeah. We want an organization on national basis, do we want a national? Yeah. Okay, we've done a lot of things in Eugene, and one of them was, we came up to a press conference here two weeks ago, 
and <coughs> the radio station KICE asked me to make a 30 second tape for him and so that's why a lot of the band people are hearing uh, a, a tape in, uh, from People's First and Band. We have a special friend here that would like to give and say a few words to you and I'd like to call him forward. I'm president of ORFA which is uh, initials for Oregon Residential Facilities Association. This is an association of group homes and foster homes. And uh, we are in existence to protect your rights. That stuff like a contract you're working on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Probably not be in the room. Mm -hmm. Club machine. Uh, a lot of people ask us uh, how, how to get started. And, and there are many different ways in which uh, a person might get, uh, get started in, in running a, or having a group home. Um, some of them get our state funded, some, uh, some are private funded, ours is private funded. And we just sort of have a feeling that, that uh, uh, the Lord wanted us to into this kind of... Uh, the others sometimes, they discuss it and uh, they'll say, when there's a problem or something, they'll say, well, he's just not going to make it, not out here. <laughs> and uh, they do work on each other. And, they do, uh, they have a pride in their home, living in the community. It's a uh, real status for them. They want to live in the home. They show definite preference. Some people don't understand them at all and don't want to. And they don't understand even the difference between being mentally ill and mentally retarded. And they kind of put them all, lump and label them all together. Can you tell me all these things? I need another sucker. Going to the ninth. One. But ow. Two. Who's gonna get it? Three. Four. Me? <laughs> For you. Oh. We help them with jobs, going, they, some of them work in activity centers, some have uh, competitive employment. We have just one person in competitive employment. Uh, others go to activity centers, uh, which is no pay. And uh, uh, we, t we try to encourage them to, uh, uh, to decorate their rooms and to, uh, to treat it as a home. We, we, we feel, it's, feel it's not a... It, uh, some of uh, some of the new regulations almost make us a mini institution, and we we resist this because we we don't feel that uh, a mini institution is just a small institution, and uh, we want it want home life, or, uh, a normal life, to, a normal home life like the people next door live, where they come come to their house and relax and and don't have too much structured activity that, and they come home and, and uh, one of the fellows the other day said, I've wor been working all day, I'm tired, I don't want to go anyplace. Money is uh, $3,000 cash in the bank. Then my father says I was a little child. He knows, going up, I am, I am 25, young man. And my father passed away. He said, I'm going on the own. I've been in Fairview for uh, two and a half years, and I should get out by now. I've been, I've been staying from Fairview for two and a half years, and they still call me retarded. I've been here about, about eight, seven or eight years. I know, I guess it we go how many years. I've been a little man. My mother, my mother thought it would be a great idea because, you see, when I was at home, I only had a brother, and I didn't have any little friends to talk to. Mm -hmm. I couldn't even go out and play because my parents were so, I mean, you know, they loved me a lot. They really did, and um, and and I. But yet they would have to like take me everywhere. 
And now, now I don't think it's right for me to go back home. Sometimes my mother asks me to, to go if I want to come home. And I say no because the way I look at it, I look at it is, uh, it's in a way it's not right because I wouldn't want to hurt, hurt anybody. And because, because I really love my parents and I used to make my mother do everything for me. I used to get mad at her. We are going, Rosella and I are going to Albany and to a nursing home. And there's an, but also you can, we can be out in the community because it, they, they, have, they have a little workshop. We've been talking about having the right to speak up for ourselves and having the right to speak up for others. We have the right to be able to help one another in their problems. We have the right to, to vote, to read, to get married, to go downtown, to live in your apartment. We have all of these rights and more. What I think is my legal rights to get a job, to hold a job, to do a good job while you're at it. Ask the, the, the boss, you have any vetable job to, to open? And he told me to come back the next day. So I, the next day I went back and then I got, and then he told me, and he told me, go ahead, go on. He told me, go ahead, go on work. So, so, I, and so I went to work on the, ne on the next day. Every job, you do have to have this fair because you can't just do perfect. There's no way in the world you can just, you just can't do perfect. Because, because every job, Every job you in, people are going to get you on your back. And if, uh, I, I know there's stuff you don't like. You just have, you know, a lot of things they go, they go so far, and and I don't like it, you know. And and I get a little bit upset by it. The Rosebrook High School vocational training class gives us jobs training and work experience. It helps us to get a good job when we get out of high school. One of the periods in class we have a group discussion. During the class we talk about our problems. We also plan field trips. The group plans this trip to Ben. The students did it on their own. The main idea of the class is to prove to others that we can do things on our own. We try to prove to others students in school, we can do something instead of sit in class. Yes. We try to prove to people out of the community we can do things. We try to prove to employers we can learn like others. Yes, indeed. Oh. We try to prove to employers we can work like others. The students in this class are slow learners. They get called names from higher people in high school. Other people don't understand. They don't understand we are like them. We have to prove to them we can do the same thing they can. Thank you. Oh, 
to help about... Everyone is worth something. I want to talk about someone that I admire very much, even though I have never met her. I am talking about Helen Keller. She had a double handicap. She could not see or hear at all. But because someone cared and wanted her to have the best life she could, she became a very remarkable person that if Helen was ever going to be worth anything, she was going to have to learn the hard way. With that thought in mind, a lot of hard work on both Anne and Helen's part. Helen was able to do many things that no one had ever dreamed possible. She learned to read, write, and even talk. She went to college and became a writer. My point in telling this story is to show what people can do if they are given a chance. like the ones for Rosella and Judy and all of them. They're all my real good friends, but I feel that they, they should speak for themselves, themselves, and they should... Mm -hmm. If people could, would stop and under, try to understand, they, would, they could be understood. We're people just like you are, and everybody else. So they should give us the same consideration. They should understand more. I mean, sure, I try not to be so um, much that I have to depend on anybody. Because that's kind of silly. We want to be our own person. I mean, we don't want to have anybody tell us what to do and when to do it. Like what time you should go to bed and what time you get up. Of course, me. <laughs> I'm not too good about getting up. <laughs> and, uh... No. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I, I want to be my own, my own person. I mean, instead of having someone over me all the time, one of us got a boyfriend. I mean, you know, we couldn't very well see him when we were in here. I mean, and they're, in a, they're out there. That, in a way, that's my point, too. I had a boyfriend. And I'm not afraid to tell anyone now that I loved, I loved him very much. And I still love him. He's in a group home. In Salem. He will be going this weekend. He will be there. I want to see him. I want to see him really bad. But yet, but if he doesn't, but if he doesn't want me anymore, then all right. You want her, you need her, I need you to believe her when she says her love is dead.
right back and forth each to each other, things like that. Just friends. Yeah. I think we all should have friends. Yeah. yeah. If he sees to it above for me, for for me to, you know, for, for, for it to work out for her and I to be together tomorrow for a while before I go back, oh, be with her, I will. Maybe for breakfast, maybe. <laughs> get a day off he does. I got some word from Bob Strong. This is what our governor has to say. I regret that my schedule did not allow me to participate in the second annual People First Conference. 
A lot has happened since you met last year at the coast. Your numbers have grown. Your influence is expanding. But more important, you are the guiding light for the rest of the nation to follow. You have demonstrated by your actions that you need, that your deed, that memory handicapped people can speak for themselves, can contribute to the community, and can accept the responsibility of full citizenship. Because of what you are doing through People First, I am assured Oregon will be a better place for all of us to live. Bob Drop, Governor of Oregon. If anybody ever calls you MR, Miller Tutter, any kind of handicapped name, just tell them that we are with People's First. We are here to be recognized as a, as a person first. Our handicaps are secondary. We're people just like you are. And everybody else. So they should give us the same consideration. I'm hoping that more people will see the need of supporting these people in the community, being friends with them, uh, helping them. They always will need a degree of support, encouragement. Some people seem a little bit afraid of them, um, afraid to reach out and touch them. And uh, they really need this. We'd like to see the, all the handicapped and all the, who, who's in this people first, we all like to be treated the same, and just like any normal people. And so they could get a chance to, to be, to feel in the same way just like anybody else. And it's not any different. You can't, you just can't look at it in a different way. You have to look at it in the same, in the same way, just like you look at it in the normal people, if they're not handicapped. And if they are handicapped, you still have to look at it the same way because they are just a human being, just like an I and anybody else. All right. I am, 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 and she said she is from Fairview Hospital and Training Center. She's still living there, but she's hoping to get out soon. I will. I know you will. Keep up the good work, girl. to his beauty when I walk around and see his work. He puts his hand into everything. It is just how you look at his work. If you just look for it, you will find beauty all around you. When I walk in the woods and listen to the sounds of his music, birds, crickets, wind and running water, I thank God for them, and I appreciate him more. When I walk alone, I think of him more than when I am with someone. In the same spirit, we can talk. As 
I was rolling that river and a highway, I saw above me that splendid skyway. I saw below me that golden valley. This land was me, you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream water. This land was me. 